Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you guys had a great fall break. This week, I'm going to read you guys the music teacher from the Black Lagoon. And then I'm also going to be reading you another spooky story this week for Halloween. Now, next week, I've got some more Halloween activities. But this week, I've got two really good stories for you. So, let's go ahead and get started. The music teacher from the Black Lagoon. We have to take a music class this year. The teacher's name is Miss Lanote, and they say she dresses really weird. They say Miss Lanote wears armor and a helmet with horns and carries a pitchfork. She likes to sing whole operas really loud in your ear, and all the kids who wear glasses have to hide them when she hits the high C. When they say Miss Lanote makes you sing too in front of the whole class, in front of the girls. I can sing in the shower, but I can't sing dry and dressed, and you have to memorize a million songs and a trillion verses and a zillion notes. If you sing even one wrong note, Miss Lanote zaps you with her laser baton. I'm going to sing a solo so low that no one will hear me. I hear Miss Lanote uses her pitchfork to keep all the kids in the same key. They say in her class, you don't have to talk at all. You have to sing, sing everything, even if you want to go to the bathroom. There isn't a prison called sing, sing. Music has to have a lot of bars. Miss Lanote tells you what kind of voice you have, and there are altos who sing through their feet, and the sopranos who have to sing through their nose. I think I'm a baritone. I sort of growl. Eric Porter's big brother used to sing with the sopranos, but now he's a baritone, and they say Miss Lanote stretched his vocal cords with tweezers. And she forces you to open your mouth wide as you can. Last year, one of the kids swallowed his own head. On top of that, Miss Lanote makes you pick an instrument. I'm picking something small and light because you have to carry your instrument home every single day. And that's because you have to practice. Instead of playing baseball, kids will be playing the bass. Instead of hitting the pitch, they'll be keeping the pitch. I'll just play my yo-yo and be in the string section. They say if you don't learn an instrument, you have to be one. Penny Weber and Doris Boodle were both cymbals, and Derek Bloom was a drum. Ouch! You also have to learn the score, and that's a lot longer than Visitors 8, Home Team 4. It looks like a zebra with measles and goes on for pages and pages. It was all written by dead guys with funny names. But the worst part is at the end of the year, you have to give a concert in a white shirt and in front of the whole school. Your mom, your dad, and all your aunts and uncles. Well, it's time to face the music. We march in and sit down, and Miss Lanote isn't wearing her helmet today. She's dressed in musical notes, and she's got musical notes on her shoes and on her dress and even on her ears. She wants to sing Old MacDonald Had a Farm. I know that song. We get to make all the animal noises. I'm going to love music. Oink, oink. Make sure you guys tune in for part two for my spooky story.